Hello. So today I thought we'd try and have a little bit of an experiment and make some of this. It's sellotape, but I've aged it so that it looks like um, old sellotape that's sort of crumbly and coming unstuck and aged. Um, I bought a, an old dictionary oh, a few weeks ago and it was held together with sellotape. It was falling apart. Nobody loved it. It was going to destined for the bin. So I peeled all the sellotape off, took the covers off, used them for something else and kept the, the pages for book pages. But the sellotape was so nice. It had such a nice texture. I did actually use it in a piece. But I wanted to recreate that. Uh, and this is the nearest thing I've I've sort of got to to creating that look. As you can see here, this is a little bit here and another bit here. Um, when you use it in a project, it doesn't look as brash as it does when you have it on the base here. Uh, it sort of mellows down a little bit. Uh, so I'll show you two ways of creating that. This is just regular sellotape, as I say, and I've stuck it onto a sample of vinyl wallpaper. Um, it, it does peel off quite easily then. You could use a non-stick craft mat, uh, but obviously it takes your craft mat out of use if you put it onto there. I haven't tried it onto silicon paper yet to see if that would, but it, it peels off quite easily and I only make a small amount at a time so that I'll use it quite quickly um, and then if it does happen to stick long term I haven't lost a lot. As I say this is a fairly new project so I don't know how it'll react on here a long time. I think it should stop peelable because basically this is vinyl which is a type of plastic uh, as far as I'm aware. So we'll have a go at creating this. As I say I've got my piece of blown vinyl wallpaper. It's one that's got a texture. It's not essential to have a texture but I find that the texture does come through a little bit on your finished tape. Um, so I find that quite useful. Sorry for the noise. This is regular sellotape packing tape and for this video I'm just going to put two pieces onto my vinyl. Now I do find from past experience it is a lot better to get the ends of your sellotape. I should have done this before I stuck it down. Come here, up, if you can see that, put a little bit of just scrap paper at the end and do this at both ends of all your sellotape strips. It just makes it easier to get it up later when, when you're using it. You can just get hold of the piece of paper and it comes up. This is probably the most pouring part of the video but it's it is fairly essential. It saves you spending ages trying to peel it up. It only needs to be a little bit. I usually do it the width of the cellar tape plus a little bit. Obviously if you were doing a lot of strips of cellar tape on this piece of wallpaper you'd make it just so that it didn't overlap the, net, the following strip. I know it's going to be rather difficult to see this sellotape on here but once we add the mediums you'll, you'll be able to see a lot easier. The first one I'm going to use is Eyes Ink Ice. This is uh, by Seth Apter. Well, Aladdin, uh, and the colours designed by Seth Apter. Um, it is a translucent gel. Um, it's wonderful stuff. It's it, gives a lovely vintage feel to projects. Um, it is really good stuff. 
um, but if you haven't got this I have an alternative so what I basically do is get a little bit of the gel make sure that you always clean the nozzles of your ice otherwise your lids will stick on so I've got that onto my sellotape I've got a little spatula and basically all I do is spread it out and you can put as little or as much on as you want now this is what I mean by when I say that the wallpaper gives it a, it gives it a texture because it picks up some of the texture of the wallpaper underneath and this is quite a heavily embossed one if you don't want the texture just push it in into the t into the um, areas where it's raised up right there we are so that's the first one that's the eyes ink ice the second one I'm going to use Distress Ink and I've got tea dye and fossilised amber. Now I think I'll just possibly put that that way and then you can see a bit better. So I've got tea dye and fossilised amber. Then I've got Heavy Gel Medium by DecoArt. Now this is about at the end of my jar of this. I have another one. Um, so it's a little bit lumpy in places. But I'm just getting a reasonable amount out. And I mix the two colours. I did try fossilised amber on its own to set off with. And it wasn't quite the right colour. It just needed to be a little bit more brown. So... I mixed in the tea dye. Now it does look as if I think I need a little bit more of the fossilised amber. So make sure you don't put your ink pad in your gel medium. And then we'll get a bit more of that. Make it a bit more yellowy. Yeah, that's a bit more. I think that's about the right colour. It wants to be similar colour to the eyes in case actually but obviously if you're doing this method you won't have the eyes in guys unless you would use it so again I'm just going to put it onto my sellotape probably got a bit much I should have been able I would have been able to do another rather than waste it I'll do another strip at this side majority of that up and then you can see a bit better there we are so we're going across and this is my extra bit so that I don't waste any of the gel medium you can leave it with the texture in it if you wish or you can just smooth it out a little bit more I do realise on this video it will be very difficult to see which is the tape and which is the excess but basically that's your two comparisons I'll just put this on here onto this other bit of tape. This goes to show why I put the paper at the ends because I can't see where the sellotape finishes. And that will have quite a lot of texture in it. So there we are. That's basically the two different types of tape. I've gone quite heavy with the um, eyes in case and the gel medium. Uh, so it'll be quite strong as opposed to these where I went a bit lighter but you can you can vary how much you put on you can if you got too much on you can scrape it off 
because it stops fluid for quite a while. You can leave areas where it isn't coloured. It's, it's entirely up to you. That's it, that's a little bit lighter. And I've got gone a bit heavier on here. If you wanted obvious marks, you can do lines like this. You can do swirls, whatever you wish. So I'll let this dry and then I'll let, show you what it looks like. Here we are. So it's uh, almost dry. I've actually dried it with a heat tool uh, very gently. It's almost dry. It's touch dry. Uh, I would w wait overnight before I used it to make sure that it was completely dry. Um, so this is the one that I've done with the Distress Inks. This is the one that I've done with Ice. And this is the one on the heavily textured wallpaper that I did with the Distress Inks uh, and the heavy gel medium. You can use any gel medium. This one's actually a gloss one, which I, I quite like because you still get the feel of the sellotape. Um, but you could use matte gel medium but it does obviously give you a matte finish um, which may be what you're, you're looking for um, the ice has got a shine to it as well um, so it's entirely up to what you decide you want um, but I'm very pleased with those and as I say I think they look really good just as little additions to um, journal pages and things. This was just a vintage journal page using printables from um, Fox and Found Studio. It's a cabinet card which is lovely. This was a cupcake wrapper, a couple of cupcake wrappers. Uh, the background was done with gesso and vintage photo distress ink. Um, there was a bit of stamping, a bit of washi tape and a bit of book pages and very simple but I just think that adds just that little bit extra and a finishing touch so I hope you give it a go and I hope you enjoy uh, the process hello so I thought I'd show you the finished page um, that I've made with the for sellotape, age sellotape um, it, I've got four bits, one on each corner here and then a little bit here. The rest of the page basically is just packaging, um, tea stained paper, little tea stained tags uh, and then some printables from Fox and Found Studio. They're on Etsy. They have fabulous printables. I absolutely love them. Uh, this is I think the Edwardian cabinet cards, uh, ladies. Uh, then we've got tape, vintage tape strips here and then there's some thoughtful words here. These little flowers are my doodle flowers which I've printed onto um, vinyl, clear vinyl uh, sticker paper which I've only just found. Oh and these numbers here are part of the tape strips as well from Fox and Found Studio. I, I do absolutely love uh, Katie's printables, the fabulous. Uh, so this is the faux sellotape, age sellotaped, um, as I said. Just open this out. It's, uh, let me see, it was the one that I created with the distress inks because this is the, the, le the last little bit of that. There's two bits here which are the, done with the distress inks and this these two here are done with the ice on this little bit here. Um, I do I do absolutely love them. I think they're just perfect. These are ones that I, I count as failures because they're done with um, infusions mixed with the gel medium and some distress as well. But they are quite the right colour. These, I think, look spot on. Um, the only concern I do have is that some of the 
top layer of the ice or the distress if it's got something pressed against it for a long period of time it can come off a little bit uh, more so with the ice than the distressing you could get over this by putting the ice or the distress ink in the gel medium onto the sticky bit of the sellotape and then just using a uh, gel medium to stick it onto your project then it would be underneath and it wouldn't come off um, it's just a thing that I've discovered when I've had this folded in half it's just transferred onto onto here from there to there um, and as I say that is the ice that's done that but you could also dust it lightly with corn flour which would stop it from being um, sticky because it is a little bit sticky as the ice the gel medium isn't um, and it would also stop it from transferring I've had this book closed for quite a while and it does stick a little bit but not drastically uh, I haven't had any transfer of the colour but as I say you could always dust it slightly with corn flour just to stop any any issues um, but it's just an alternative to buying the ready-made for age sellotape rolls of washi tape that you can get which I would absolutely love but shipping from America is so such a lot of money that I just can't afford to do that so I, I thought I'd come up with my own version so I hope you enjoyed the uh, tutorial and I hope that you give it a go I'll just give you a little bit closer view there we are and it's just here it's half the width I just cut it into half and there's a little bit here as well you can see it it is still shiny <laughs>